Hi, Damon. Hi there, Carlton. And hi, London Lost fans. Hello, people of London. How are you guys? We're so excited that you were able to come out for this big event tonight, and we are just sad that we can't be there. Really, really exciting, and really, really sad. Well, we're, uh, we're busy here, actually, still working on episodes of the show for this season. Um, but, you know, it's really an incredible thing. I mean, this actually, I think, is one of those things that, that it's really, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a high watermark for us. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, to hear that the show is getting such, such treatment, the, uh, it's been a dream of mine personally to, to have the Royal Shakespeare Company actually interpret the work of uh, Lost that we've been doing for the last uh, six years. Damon, it's, it's, it's not the Royal Shakespeare Company, it's the Reduced Shakespeare Company. The, re the Reduced, oh, okay, well, you, you can't have it uh, your way all the time, so I guess at the very least, um, we will see what our words are like coming out of the mouths of fine British actors because British actors always make everything sound so smart because and, we're pretty... Dan, yeah. actually, the actors in the Reduced Shakespeare Company happen to be American. Americans. Yeah, they're Americans. Whew. And what right. they do is they, they do condensed versions of, you know, big things like Shakespeare plays or the Bible. Okay, so... Small versions. So, at the very least, we're about to see how they, over the course of, say, the next two and a half hours, are able to cram 104 hours of our show into just that very short period of time. I can't imagine the challenge of sort of getting that into a two and a half hour block. So at least Damon, I'm looking forward to that. Damon, Damon, they're actually going to uh, do this in 10 minutes. They're going to do it in less than 10 minutes. They're going to tell the entire 104 hour history of loss to this point in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, it should be, should be a wild ride, so uh, yeah. we're looking forward to it, too. On with the show. See you guys soon. Fantastic. In 2004, a landmark television series premiered which combined the TV show Survivor, the film Castaway, and the novel Lord of the Flies with a touch of both William Shakespeare's The Tempest and Desert Island Discs. Five seasons later, this dense masterwork continues to make audiences around the world feel as lost as its title. To rectify that, the Reduced Shakespeare Company presents the first five seasons in ten minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, and fellow geeks on the interwebs, Lost, reduced. Season one, Oceanic 815, en route from Sydney to Los Angeles, crashes on a fantastical island. The plane, the plane! <laughs> not fantastical island, not fantasy island. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Moving on. Jack Shepard is one of the overly beautiful survivors. Nobody panic. I know what I'm doing. I'm a doctor. I can help you, sir. Turn your head and cough. I'm John Locke. I broke my back and I'll never walk it. Oh, my God! It's a miracle! I have faith! I have reason! I have faith we were brought here for a reason. If we don't live together, we're gonna die alone! Look, a secret hatch! Look, my dead father! <laughs> Dude! Dude! There's a really good chance this is all happening in my head. Oh my god, that, that mysterious whispering means trouble. No. Wait. Hey. Are you guys together? What do you just stop whispering to that girl? Come on. Well, sorry, she's hot. She's Un looking at me. I know she's hot. Uncool, dude. Uncool. I am Saeed, a former Iraqi torturer. <laughs> captured by Danielle Rousseau, named after the famous French philosopher. Inspector Rousseau. Hi, I'm Kate Austin, voted by People Magazine as the most beautiful shipwrecked fugitive ever. And I got a thing for Jack, but I've really got a thing for Sawyer. <laughs> he keeps losing his shirt. <laughs> you would too if you looked like this. <laughs> I'm clear, and there's a mysterious tribe already on this island called the Others who take people's babies. Their leader is called... Their leader is called Madonna. 
，正靠破音大河，这也超破同人家大河。I am Sun. Please ignore my husband Jin, whose Korean is absolutely terrible. He does not know that he is sterile, but I am pregnant and speak English. Huh? Hey, I'm Walt. My daddy Michael is building a raft so he can get us off this island. I don't know what my special gift is, but I sure like this comic book about a polar bear. <laughs> wow! Dude, Tom Cruise's cousin Ethan took Claire's baby. <laughs> Come on, Sulu. This raft we build ain't gonna sail itself. My English get better. <laughs> Sawyer is <laughs> <awful>. <laughs> Look, a boat. It's the others. Oh, 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 get back, oh, the others. Oh, oh, Stop, take that, Madonna. Oh, oh, oh. Happy day. Stand back. I'm blowing the hatch. <laughs> Season two. The thematic clash between faith and reason continues amid growing conflict with the others. You here to relieve me, brother? <laughs> Punch in the numbers four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Every hundred and eight minutes of the world will end. Four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Dude, those numbers are cursed. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> I'm Dr. Marvin Candle, Mark Wickman, Edgar Hallowax, Pierre Chang. This is the Swan Station, part of the Dharma Initiative, funded by the Hanso Foundation, whose purpose is purposely shrouded in mystery on purpose. This chart will explain. <laughs> the others stole my son, Walt, and then they blew up my raft, the SS Minnow, and now I've been taken prisoner. We're not the others; we're the Tailies. I'm Anna Lucia, and I'm sorry for shooting Shannon. Who's Shannon? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Now I gotta go fly a chopper on Pandora. <laughs> Hello, I am Mr. Echo, a Tele and former Nigerian warlord. I am the soul of the series. I am building a church. I will never leave this island. I... <coughs> Smother smoke monster got me goodbye. La 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 la. I found this man hanging from a balloon. I'm Dorothy Gale from Kansas. I'm Henry Gale from Minnesota. <coughs> Sorry, I'm Ben Linus. I'm the leader of the others. We are never letting you go. Hi, I'm letting you go. Oh, thank you, Michael. You and your son Walt may leave the island. <laughs> I am through punching in the numbers. No, brother. The last time the numbers weren't punched in was the day of your plane crash. <laughs> Season three. Some of the others join the survivors while one of the survivors defects to the others. Then other others started to appear. Angry, frustrated viewers who have no idea what the heck is going on. I'm sick, Jack, and I'm going to keep you prisoner until you operate on me. On one condition, give me a cheeseburger. Stat. Thank you. Hi there. I'm Juliet. Hey. Where's Sawyer and Kate? Doing it in a polar bear cage. <laughs> Hello, I'm Charles Vice President Jim Prescott from 24. Jim Robinson from Neighbors Widmore. I've spent billions of dollars trying to find this island and to make sure I appear on every single American TV show ever. <laughs> Dude, chick named Naomi parachuted in with a phone. We can call for pizza. Hello, pizza people. Oh, damn. Come along, John. I want to show you who runs this island. This is Jacob. It's Wilson from Castaway. It, oh, might be Jacob. It's Wilson. Look at the label. We don't know. I did it. I unjammed the signal. They can phone the freighter. I'm gonna live. Woohoo! You all, everybody. Sorry, Charlie. Every season ends with an explosion. You've been voted off the island. <laughs> Plus, we have to fast forward into season, season four. four. There was a writer strike during season four. Season five. The island skips around, lost in time and lost in space. Danger, Will Robinson! Danger, danger! No, no that's wrong show. Wrong right. show. Sorry. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Sawyer, Juliet, Daniel, Charlotte, and Miles are bounce around from year to year. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Who? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Daniel, Charlotte, and Miles are the scientists from the freighter. Right? They're on. They're in the past with Sawyer and Juliet. While the Oceanic Six is in the future. Sorry. Yeah. What? 
What's going <laughs> on? This is so simple. Ugh. Jack, Kate, Hurley, Saeed, Son and Claire's baby, Aaron, are living off the island three years in the future and are known as the Oceanic Six. Yeah, they joined Matt Damon, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, and two others to make the Oceanic Eleven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Sawyer, Juliet, Daniel, Charlotte, and Miles uh, get these intense nosebleeds and headaches. Yeah, so does the audience trying to make sense of this. Yeah, then Locke turns the donkey wheel. Bo- 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 donkey wheel? It doesn't matter, let it go. Setting the, island, <laughs> setting the island back on its axis and wakes up with amnesia. In Tunisia. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sawyer, Juliet, Daniel, and Miles end up with the Dharma Initiative back in 1974. Locke is dead off the island in the future, but alive on the island in the past. Of course he is, and I am totally lost. I know, that's the point. Uh, is it? great to watch a TV show for once and not know what's going to happen next. Yeah. Then the Oceanic Eleven take Locke's body to Las Vegas and rob Andy Garcia's casino. See? (laughs) Didn't see that coming. Yeah. The flight and its passengers land on the island in the present, while Jack, uh, Kate, Hurley, and Saeed land in 1977. And the Jack, Kate, Sawyer, Juliet romantic triangle becomes like this romantic Rubik's Cube. Yeah. Now, Saeed tries to change the future by shooting Ben when he's a kid, but Richard Albert saves him. What happened, happened. Yeah. Then Prospero catches Kate Caliban with Miranda, <laughs> well, uh, Ben and Locke, or somebody who looks like right. Locke, killed Jacob. And the Jacobian principles are fulfilled when the H-bomb glimpsed in 1954 goes off in 1977. <laughs> the screen goes to white. End of season five. Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Very good. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Yeah, thank you. you know this thing? Well done, Mr. Austin. Well done, Mr. Reed. We should open a clothing store. Wait, 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 okay. <laughs> Time out. Guys, come. Sorry, we cannot end the show like this. What? I, I want some friggin' answers. And so does she. She wants answers. Don't, you guys want answers, right? Yeah! Yes! See what I'm saying? That's why they're here. We want answers. Like, okay, sorry, but did setting off the H-bomb prevent the plane from crashing or actually cause the crash that brought the people to the island in the first place? Exactly. <laughs> Stop doing that. Look, you said that history can't be changed. No. You said what happened happened. The history can be changed if you have a variable, something unpredictable. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's our variable? Well, what Damon and Carlton told us is... No. <laughs> if we explained it to you, it wouldn't be lost. <laughs> Time is unstuck. Are you happy now? Totally. But where are we? Lost in limbo between season five and six. Where are we headed? Back to the beginning. Are we going to get there? In a non-linear fashion. (laughs) Whoa. We can fulfill our destiny. All your questions will be answered. Really? No. (laughs) Get up, John. You've got work to do. What lies in the shadow of the statue? (gasps) Elikinos omnis servibit. That's how the island cures everybody's illness. That's why Richard wears guy liner. I knew it. (laughs) We're the good guys, Michael. We were brought here for a reason. Dead. Dama lady, how you been? Oh, the skeletons in the cave are Rose and Bernard. They're Rose and... Do you know how much I want to kill you? Mm, Teresa goes up the stairs. Teresa goes down the stairs. I see dead people, dude. I hear dead people, man. Living. Arst blows up. Frogert gets shish kebab. Oh. You have to go back, Kate. Zakra. Nibiragl Naminade. Help me. Hi, I'm Walt. Turns out my special gift is that I age fast and grow super tall. Richard gave me the compass, then I gave Richard the compass. So where did the compass come from? Uh, Actually, pursued by Polar Bear. Uh, the writers of Lost are geniuses. They know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, sure they do, man. I'm sorry, but they are totally making this up as they go along. No, they are not. They know it. Are, they, you just gotta have... Faith. Okay. Are you still lost? More than ever. You won't be after season six. Cool. We've made it back to the beginning. <laughs> the plane. The plane. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the, the Reduced, Reduced Shakespeare, Shakespeare Company. Company, and this was Lost, lost Reduced. Reduced. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> hey, Vincent. Thank you, Vincent. Look at the people. Look at the people. Hey. Hey. Very good. Thank you. you. I'm bowing in the dark. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. you.
One more. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.